Yo, what is good guys? Keeping this video short again, but wanted to share my experiences recently on something that made me realize a couple things. A couple things that I don't think I would have realized, or maybe I did realize, but didn't realize how big of a hurt or impact it made on me because I've never experienced that. So let's jump into it. So I've been talking to this girl, right? And she knows I go out. She knows I talk to other girls, you know, she knows all that stuff, right? Well, what happened was, yeah, we we're having fun. You know what I mean? You know, we, we get on, we get on. But a couple days ago, I actually was, we were, we were hanging out, vibing, you know, making out, kissing, whatnot. But what happened next was that I actually started to tease her a bit. And I teased her to a certain point where it was past a certain point and I didn't close, right? I didn't make that decision. I was being this indecisive. I was 50-50. I'm like, do I wanna, do I wanna hit it today or do I not wanna hit it today? And I like went 80% of the way where I was just like messing with her and getting her all hyped up. She's like, no, don't tease me. We're, don't tease me. We're, you know, I, you gotta, you know, you gotta work early. No, no, no. I went that far. And then I said, you know what? Nah, it's, nah, I don't want to. And she went to go get back changed. She got changed. And she was actually really pissed off because as a man, I didn't make a decision. I just got her hyped for no reason. And I didn't make a decision. You either yes and go all in or you don't go all in, right? And so I went 80% and then I was like, yeah, you know what, no. And she left off pissed, guys. She left off pissed as shit. Piss as fuck. And I keep in mind, I've, seen, I've been seeing this girl like three weeks already, almost a month. And as soon as she left, I was like, mother, I'm a goddamn idiot. I'm a goddamn damn idiot you know because i left her hanging like that because i couldn't be decisive and there's a lot of other things in my life that's kind of pointing in that direction that i need to be decisive in what it is i do right for example another thing here i'm in a volleyball team well, let's start back a bit i'm in a basketball i used to be in a basketball team in college right i was playing a uh, varsity and i'm just kidding but i was just playing intramurals and one of the things that I had the biggest issues on was being committed in that last 10% where it was needed most, right? So the ball's jumping around, moving around, and then it gets passed to me. Now I have the ball, I'm like, and I just throw it because I'm like, and I don't commit to it. Like when I'm dribbling, I'm like, and I just don't commit to it. And you can tell because it looks like I'm about to make a move, and then I just don't commit to it. I'm just like uh, undecisive and I'm just like, no, and I don't do it. Right? And here, thumbnail, thumbnail. Okay, that's thumbnail. But anyways, I was being very indecisive and now I'm in volleyball right now. I'm playing volleyball. And the biggest thing that I noticed I couldn't effing do, for first I sucked at hitting the volleyball, right? I sucked at fucking keeping the ball in there. But now I got better at it. I got better at the ball comes to me. Uh. But the problem was the 5%, 10% commitment that I just wouldn't do, right? Ball comes to me and there's two people, another guy. They were like this, uh, 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 and there's no, and then he jumps in and hits it. Because I don't go that 5%, that 10%. And commitment and then it messes up some of our games because well if you think about it the ball is coming towards my direction and i just don't go for that five percent ten percent commit ten percent commitment and then he runs all the way across and tries to hit it and then it goes the other direction because i didn't make a decision fast decision within the five ten percent where i needed to do it most and i even call it out I'm like yo guys is this that five ten percent commitment i'm messing up on that that's my fault. It's that commitment that I need to commit to myself to do this. So I realized that I got a big slap in my face with this girl. And I realized that all I did was get her turned on 
And then I just didn't, I didn't fuck her. And I left her to, to go on a Wednesday night to go back to her apartment. Left her all horny. <laughs> Believe that? Don't worry, there's so many bugs right now, guys. Ridiculous. But what I did was I I was so pissed off at myself. Like, I'm an idiot for doing that. Why Why can't I be, I need to be decisive about things like this. I can't just, it's a dangerous play too with the women because she was already on and then I just sent her back to go, right? And obviously, that's kind of a dangerous combination to do that to a girl, I think, you know? But what happened next was I, I texted her, right? She left already an hour past. I did an infill report, the things I could have worked on. That was the biggest thing to be decisive about what it is I'm gonna do. Don't like mess around like that and just be fast at it. Yes or no, you're either doing it, yes or no. You're committed, you're gonna do it or you don't do it. So it was a big slap in my face, right? Big slap in my face. Anyways, I texted her, I'm like, come over right now, right now. And she came by, this is like the fastest she's ever came by. It was like, it took her like less than five minutes. She came back and then I talked to her for a bit. I was kind of like in a, I, like a frantic state, or like upset, I was pissed off at her. I almost like cursed her out and everything. But then it was on again. <laughs> but this time I was like, I'm, you already came over here, we're, we're doing it. And it was the best we've ever had between us. It was, it was pretty good. But I had to make that commitment because I shouldn't be doing that. I should. And she even told me like, Jamar, just say it. you're thinking too much. You're fucking thinking too much. You're thinking too much. Say it what you want to say. Say what you want to say. Stop thinking too much. So sometimes I think too much and I need to be fast at deciding. I can't be lagging like that. And that goes to say about other things in life. Like if you want to start your business, if you're going to start your business and you say, well, I'm going to start it, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes around and then you don't do it. And that's, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of like, I do that. The next day comes around, I'm like, I swear I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a little bit. Next day comes around, next day comes around, next day comes around. Next thing you know, a week has passed and you said you're still gonna do it. A month passed and you said you're still gonna do it. Two months passes, you said you're still gonna do it. A year passed, you said you were gonna do it. Two years passed, five years, 10 years, 15 years has passed. And we still haven't done it. And I believe, you know, I'm gonna make this another video but I believe that when you are putting in the work, you're gonna be getting those very upsetting, pressing moments where you're like, this shit doesn't work. I'm not getting any results, but that is where you wanna be because you would rather be there, like if you're shooting basketball and you're missing all the shots and you're getting pissed off, you would rather be there than in your bedroom, sitting there like, eh, I should practice today, you know, I'll practice tomorrow, and you don't practice at all. At least you're practicing when you're shooting, right? Even if you miss all the shots, you're still practicing. And that anger, that fuel, that you, you're you like, I can't make a shot, eventually is gonna hit and it's gonna be rewarding. So I would say, you know you're in, the, you're in the path to success when you actually notice that you're failing when you're doing the action because you're doing the action, that's the thing. You only would ever be upset at not getting a result when you are doing the action. When you don't do any action, you're just gonna become ignorant and just push it off and be lazy and push the pain away until eventually it's so unbearable that it hurts way too much, right? So these are very important lessons and I just got that slap in the face yesterday. And not gonna lie, I'm very thankful for that. And I was glad I was able to close it and we we hit it off real well, I'm not gonna lie, it was real good. but. I'm glad that I realized that because I wouldn't have realized that if I didn't do that move, you know? So I think it was something that needed to be done and that's how it went by. So I'm actually gonna do another video before it's too dark, but that is it for this. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learn from it. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe because we're getting, we're getting subscribers, guys. We're getting subscribers. So I wanna, share my information with you guys so you guys give me feedback and then we can go from there. Peace.